I am Mahant. In today's video, I will be showing you the process of making a robotic sleeping machine. So let's get started. In order to build the robot, we need the chassis. I only have already attached the power bank to the chassis here. We need the same like other chassis. Again, we need the jumper wires to connect the loading CU. We need the T spacers. These all actually come in a kit. I will leave a link down in the description for the kit. So the kit includes obviously two chassis pieces. Uh, the T spacers. These actually are uh, supposed to connect uh, the or attach the motors to the chassis. So next we need four motors, bow motors. These come in the kit. The kit also includes some wires. I have already attached these wires. And also the kit comes with these spacers to connect the pieces, the chassis together. It also comes with M3 smaller screws, M3 nuts and M3 longer bolts. So these are all supposed to attach the pieces together and we also need bow motors, tires. These are the tires for these motors. We need L2910 uh, motor driver, we need two screwdrivers. And then we need the load MCU. So I will leave a link down in the description box below for all the parts. I will also leave down in the description box below for the link to the uh, kit where you can buy the kit. And let's get started in building the robot. So in step 1 of building the robot, we need to attach all the motors to the chassis. So now I will just take one motor and uh, show how to attach to the chassis. So I will need two T-spacers, I will need two of these longer bolts and two of these nuts. So to attach it first, uh, there will be a slot here. Just slide one T-spacer like this and then attach the motor over here. So there will be holes in the motor and now you can take the second T-spacer and Join one bolt like this and the other one. And then you can just slide this in the holes like this. And everything should line up like this. And now we can take the nuts and tighten it down. And now squeeze it down. Squeeze this bolt down. And... At the down bolt, it might be hard to get the nut in. So a little trick I have is just slide the nut in, screw it in. Sometimes it might be a little hard, so tilt it down. Make sure the bolt is not loosed. And now you can easily slide it. Sometimes you have to get it in the perfect orientation. Now the nut is in. Now it might be a little tighter in here. So the trick I have is to take the screwdriver and hold the nut and screw the screw here. So I can tighten the screw while holding the nut. And this actually bolts down the clamp, the T-spacer. And also if you want to get it extra tight, you can actually... Also do this method for the first bolt. It's easier but just to make it more tighter so the bolts doesn't come out. And I have attached one motor. I will do that to the all the rest three motors and I will be back. Now after installing all the motors, as you can see this is all secure. Now we need to attach the upper chassis to the bottom. 
do that we need these spacers and the M3 swarm nuts. So there will be holes as you can see but you have to take the holes here so you have to take the bigger holes which these actually fit and if you take this holes this might be inconvenient when you are installing this so I recommend you to uh, insert the screw into this hole and you can screw on these spacers you will do the same thing on the opposite side make sure it's tight so otherwise the bolts might fall off which is not a good thing and you might lose the track of the bolt track of the bolts too. so the middle there are two holes there are three holes here so you have to pick the topper hole which is top hole which is this hole here and we have the screws and we can just again bolt on So now after screwing in all six of these pillars spaces, now you can take the topper chassis and insert it here and make sure you can line up these holes. And that's all lined up. Now take the first bolt. Here I recommend you to use a screwdriver. <laughs> so now you can screw this in now this and this are now attached so the bottom and the top is now attached now we can we can screw it in As you can see, it's aligned up. Now we can put it in. So make sure you get everything tight. Otherwise, the bolts might fall off. And now that's it.